पुलवामा के गुनहगारों को सजा कैसे दी जाएगी ये हमारे जवान तय करेंगे नमस्कार मैं हूँ आपके साथ कविता राणा चौदह फरवरी को जम्मू कश्मीर के पुलवामा में हुए आतंकी हमले के बाद से भारत आतंकियों की पनागा पाकिस्तान को दुनिया भर में अलग थलग कर दिया है भारत इस कायराना हरकत का मुंह तोड़ जवाब पाकिस्तान को देगा इस बात का अंदाजा दुनिया के सबसे ताकतवर देश के राष्ट्रपति को भी पता है और उन्होंने ये बात कबूली भी है पुलवामा हमले के बाद दुनिया के जर्मनी रशिया ब्रिटेन और अमेरिका जैसे सभी ताकतवर देश भारत के साथ खड़े हैं प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी ने दो टूक में कह दिया था कि पाकिस्तान को इसका मुंह तोड़ जवाब दिया जाएगा पुलवामा के गुनहगारों को सजा कैसे दी जाएगी कहा दी जाएगी कब दी जाएगी कौन देगा किस प्रकार की सजा देगा ये सब ये हमारे जवान तय करेंगे अमेरिकी राष्ट्रपति डोनाल्ड ट्रंप ने कहा है कि दोनों देशों के बीच बहुत ही खतरनाक स्थिति चल रही है भारत कुछ बड़ा करने की सोच रहा है अमेरिकी राष्ट्रपति डोनाल्ड ट्रंप ने पुलवामा को लेकर भारत और पाकिस्तान पर क्या कुछ कहा ये बताने से पहले हम आपको ये बताना चाहते हैं कि पाकिस्तान को अमेरिका की तरफ से मिलने वाली भीख पर डोनाल्ड ट्रंप ने क्या कहा all us assistance to pakistan because of terrorists coming from there no i stopped paying pakistan the 1.3 billion dollars that we were paying them in the meantime we may set up some meetings with pakistan pakistan was uh taking very strong advantage of the united states under other presidents and we were paying pakistan 1.3 billion a year i ended that payment to pakistan because they weren't helping us uh in a way that they should have and honestly we've had we've developed a much better relationship with pakistan over the last short period of time than we had but i did i ended the payment we were paying pakistan 1.3 billion dollars a year i ended that about 9 months ago a lot of people don't know that but i ended it 9 months ago to oval office mein media se baat karte hue jab trump se pulwama hamle ko lekar sawal pucha gaya to unhone kaha terrorists coming from pakistan yeah. have attacked indian forces in kashmir that's right no it's a terrible thing going on right now between pakistan and india is a very very bad situation and it's a very dangerous situation between the two countries and we would like to see it stop a lot of people were just killed and uh we want to see it stopped we're very much involved in that yes if that's what you're referring people to people in india are seeking right to self defense no india is looking at something very strong when i mean india just lost almost 50 people and with an attack so i can understand that also but uh, we're talking and a lot of people are talking but it is a very very uh, delicate balance going on right now there's a lot of problems between india and pakistan because of what just happened in kashmir are you talking about kashmir yeah in kashmir it's very dangerous गौरतलब है कि जम्मू कश्मीर के पुलवामा जिले में 14 फरवरी को जैश ए मोहम्मद के एक भीषण फिदाइन हमले में सीआरपीएफ के 40 जवान शहीद हो गए थे और कई अन्य घायल हुए थे सीआरपीएफ का काफिला जम्मू से श्रीनगर जा रहा था इस काफिले में करीब 78 गाड़ियां थी और 2500 जवान शामिल थे उसी दौरान बाई ओर से ओवरटेक कर विस्फोटक से लदी एक कार आई और उसने सी की बस में टक्कर मार दी जिसमें हमारे देश के 40 जवान शहीद हो गए देश और दुनिया की तमाम खबरों के लिए आप बने रहिए हमारे साथ Uh, how do you see the situation there what's the message I've seen it there? I've watched I've gotten a lot of reports on it we'll have a comment at, at the appropriate time uh it would be wonderful if they got along it seems like that was a uh, horrible situation but we're getting reports we'll have a statement to put out okay thank you very much okay. yeah. last year you had blocked 
all U.S. assistance to Pakistan because of terrorists coming from there? No, I stopped paying Pakistan the $1.3 billion that we were paying them. In the meantime, we may set up some meetings with Pakistan. Pakistan was uh, taking very strong advantage of the United States under other presidents, and we were paying Pakistan $1.3 billion a year. I ended that payment to Pakistan because they weren't helping us. Uh, in a way that they should have. And honestly, we've had — we've developed a much better relationship with Pakistan over the last short period of time than we had. But I did. I ended the payment. We were paying Pakistan $1.3 billion a year. I ended that about nine months ago. A lot of people don't know that, but I ended it nine months ago. But there is still a start coming from Pakistan attacking in Afghanistan and India. U.S. forces in Afghanistan, Indian forces. But what are you talking about? What are you What are you trying to refer to? Uh, you have to speak up. I can't. Yeah, the uh, terrorists coming from Pakistan yeah. have attacked uh, Indian forces in Kashmir. That's right. No, it's a terrible thing going on right now between Pakistan and India. Is a very, very bad situation, and it's a very dangerous situation between the two countries. And we would like to see it stop. A lot of people were just killed. And uh, we want to see it stopped. We're very much involved in that, yes, if that's what you're referring People to. India are seeking right to self-defense. No, India is looking at something very strong. And, I mean, India just lost almost 50 people and with an attack. So I can understand that also. But uh, we're talking, and a lot of people are talking, but it is a very, very uh, delicate balance going on. Right now, there's a lot of problems between India and Pakistan because of what just happened. In Kashmir. Are you talking about Kashmir? Yeah. In Kashmir, it's very dangerous. Yes, please. Mr. President, on Huawei, sir, just one quick follow-up. Are you planning an executive order on Huawei? Well, we're not doing anything right now. We may or may not put that in the trade agreement. We may be discussing it. But we'd only do that uh, in conjunction with the Attorney General of the United States, because that is a, uh, a matter that is outside of what we're doing. So we do that with the Attorney General, if we do anything. And I guess there's a question as to whether or not that's being included in the agreement. Yeah, go ahead. Mr. President, we haven't gotten your uh, response yet to Amazon pulling out of, of New York City, your home city, your home I think state. it's a big loss for New York City. I think it's a big loss. I think it's uh, — if you look at the deal, I, the deal was not a great deal from the standpoint of they could have made a better deal than that, a much better deal. But still, I think it's a loss for New York City. And uh, the $3 billion wasn't a check. It was a form of taxes over a period of time that now uh, they'll never see because, you know, they were, they were going to take in a lot of jobs. They were going to take in a lot of taxes. So I think it's a big loss for — New York City. It's the kind of thinking that our country is going to on the left, on the radical left. But ultimately, it's not good for jobs and it's not good for the economy. But I think it was a big loss for New York City. I come from New York City. I love New York City. I think it was a big loss for New York City. Yes, sir. Mr. President, when were you briefed, sir, on the Coast Guard member who was arrested for threatening Democrats and other members? Of the I'm media? actually getting a very final briefing and a very complete briefing in about two hours and after you have this. thoughts on this man? I think it's a shame. After members of yeah. The I think it's a very sad thing when a thing like that happens. And I've expressed that, but I'm actually getting a uh, very complete briefing in about two hours. Do you think that you bear any responsibility for moderating your language when it comes to that? No, I don't. I think my language is very nice. Mr. Yes. Mr. President, on night Mr. President, yes. uh, from People's Daily from China, China. From China. Uh, trade conflict have been one year not negotiations going on. So what's your what do you think? Who are you with in China? Uh, People's Daily China newspaper. People's Daily? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then the, what do you think? The cooperation is still the good solution? Between great cooperation. Yeah. We have great cooperation both ways with China. And a lot of good things are happening. I, I mean, I think you see that. So many people every day, they are going to make a deal. They aren't going to make a deal. They don't know. They have no idea. It's fake news. You know, it's one of those things. Do they have fake news in China? I think so. <laughs> but uh, it's a question. Are they going to make a deal? Aren't they? I think we have a very good chance of making a deal. But both parties want to make it a meaningful deal. We don't want to make a deal that doesn't. Yeah. Exactly. I can speak for the Vice Premier. I can speak for President Xi. I can speak for myself. Both parties want to make this a real deal. We want to make it a meaningful deal, not a deal that's done and doesn't mean anything. We want to make this a deal that's going to last for many, many years and a deal that's going to be uh, good for both countries. But we want to make it meaningful. Now, with that being said, China has the advantage of having many years of tremendous success at the expense of the United States. So they understand that. 
And I never blamed China for that. I blamed our past leaders. Our leaders have done a lousy job with trade. Our country lost $800 billion last year with trade, generally. $800 billion. So the Vice Premier understands that. So uh, this same agreement should have been made 20 years ago, not now. Because for 20 years, the United States has been really uh, taken advantage of. And I'm not blaming China. We should have done the same thing to them. But we didn't do that. We had presidents that didn't do their job. You want to know the truth? We had presidents that did not do their job. Yeah, go. Okay.